Last year was our first year. Okay, last year was our first year. So we had we had opportunities to be successful and we decided not to take them. We decided to not play as a team and we decided that we were just gonna mope around and play the game and get our butts kicked every single game. We are now a family. We have each other's back on and off the field. You have to show up and want it. You wouldn't be here and you wouldn't trust me and the other coaches if you didn't have some sort of inkling that we could do something good next year. It has to show here first before it can show during a tournament. We got to come every practice, no matter if it's a fall workout or a winter workout, with the same attitude. From here on out, anytime you hear me say, who are we, the entire team responds, dogs. And when I say one team, the entire team responds, one family. Since day one last year, we really tried to, to focus in on us being one team, one family. And we say that not because, you know, a team should be a family, it's because these kids know that outside the baseball diamond, they've got 13 other families they can rely on. Well, I think the motivation for the kids that played last year, the year did not go very well. Um, and I think they wanted to prove to themselves, more than anybody, they want to prove to themselves they're better than what they showed last year. And one of the reasons I came back is because, I, and I told them this at the first practice, I said, guys, I came back here because there's talent here. And when you can see the talent, and yet it doesn't quite gel or come together like it did for them last year, it motivates you. Just, we didn't have enough team chemistry last year. And I feel like this year it's 10 times better. I have a chip on my shoulder. I want to uh, right our wrongs from last year. Uh, and it's my last year playing baseball. There's some talent on this buckle. And I think if these guys can play together, come together, and, and work as a team, they'll, they'll see that because the talent comes through when you when you play as a team. Because we're trying to, we're trying, we're like, we're, you can tell like from last year, this is a whole different team. And we're like all eager, every single one of us is so eager to get out there and just do what we love to do. Bunch of goofballs. Later, man. <laughs> Amazing. Everything. I mean, he's probably one of the best coaches I've had, and that's saying a lot. Baseball is a very organized sport. There's a lot of things that need to go right, and he's able to teach us and make sure we get that in our brains. There's times where when we're conditioning, it's I he's my least favorite person in the world. I mean, it's awesome. He pushes me every single, every single practice, every single game, every minute of everything. Like even when we're on the phone. I mean, the relationship I have with him, honestly, is nothing I've ever had as a coach. So I love, I love the work. Real baseball, in a sense. So it's a very military mentality. And I don't think a lot of coaches these days have that mentality anymore. I think they're just, oh, we want to win games however possible. They're not the, let's do it as a unit. He's my, one of my favorite coaches by far.
I'm actually like really grateful for him because last summer, when every like COVID hit and everything, I almost didn't even get to play baseball because the team I played for before couldn't get any games scheduled. So it's like I'm just sitting on my on my butt for a month doing nothing, and then Brian hits up my brother because my brother was helping him coach at the time. He's like, "Hey, we need so we need another guy to help us play," and I'm like, "I'm doing it. I'm not sitting on my butt anymore. I want to play ball." The ball gave me the opportunity. You saw something in me before th this year when we started last year that nobody nobody saw in me, and God, I'm really grateful and appreciated for it because it, it really means a lot to me that I get a chance to play good ball. And it just, it, it means a lot to me and I wouldn't want to go through it with any other coach or any other team. Big year this year was COVID. A lot of that is, I mean, it's going to be a big thing no matter what, but trying to work through it and try to figure out how can I keep some sort of money coming my way. And that was a big thing mentally along with, there's so many question marks about it anymore. No one really knows what's going to be shut down next. So that's the really tough mental block that we had to face a lot of this year. I want, I want the boys to be proud of what, or how far they made, regardless of what's going on off the field or what's happened the past couple months. Take it all out in the weight room, use it as motivation, and have a good time with it. Have a good time with everybody around here. I think that we're all becoming brothers day in, day out. We're working together hard, no matter what sort of challenges we have to face. And I'm really ex excited for that brotherhood to continue bonding closer and closer through all these trainings and then through the season. No matter how rough a practice we all have or how good of a practice we all have, at the end of the day, we're all family, we're all brothers, we all stick together, and we're all here for one another. There are people here that care, that still want to see me, that want to talk to me no matter what. I talked to Coach, I want to say a couple weeks ago, he said, when you come back, come see me. If we're it's the middle of summer, come watch games with us, you're part of the family. The family. The family. The family. You know, some of these kids, to me are like family, you know, I, I'm calling them every day, I'm asking how they're doing, I'm seeing what I can do to better themselves, to be better young men for the community, because that's a huge focus for us, is we want our 13 guys to be the best example of what we expect in their communities. We rather have kids that want to grow than kids who come in here and think that they already know everything. We want to be able to be a byproduct of who they are down the road. I love the communication and I love the brotherhood that we're trying to put into this program. Not only team, but the whole program. Which, it shows that we are one big family and it makes me extremely happy about it. I feel like every one of these guys is determined and the next five weeks will really show it. Who, who really wants to win and who wants to be here and make themselves better. And not only for themselves, but for the 1848 dogs. They've walked out of here tired. They, they got a pretty good workout. And again, that was to help build them to understand, we play some of these tournaments, we might play six games in two days. By game six, when we're hoping to be in a lot of these tournaments, you gotta be ready. You gotta be physically and mentally ready to play. All the missing pieces we had last year, we've got. And I think the puzzle's the puzzle's complete and we're gonna have a great season. We got a good team this year. More more importantly, with anybody that's not part of our organization, I want them to see the heart and the love and the passion 
that not only our players have, but that our coaches have for our players and our families, that we would drop anything for them outside of the game, inside of the game. We would do whatever it takes. We're, we're here, we're here to get some kind of trophy or something. If we want, we won't win. I just want the world to be ready for this team because I think they're gonna surprise some people at these tournaments. Um, it's not gonna surprise us because we can see it. In them. I'm very happy with the talent that we're going to be able to produce by the end of the season and I'm happy that we're probably gonna win a lot of games this year.